सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड स्टार्टेड विद मॉड्यूल फाइव ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट पी एल एस आई डिजाइन एंड टेस्टिंग सो द फर्स्ट फोर मॉड्यूल्स आर ऑलरेडी कवर सो दो हैव नॉट वॉच दो वीडियोज प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इट इट इज अवेलेबल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द एस आर लैच सर्किट ओके सो इन दिस एस आर लैच सर्किट this is not new to you guys but we are going to see the cmos implementation of this sr latch using nand and nor gates okay both the nand as well as nor gate comparison is to be is, would be done for this sr latch circuit first the circuit structure so this is the circuit structure of the sr latch okay using cmos implementation okay so this is using nor this is nor based sr latch so this is the basic block diagram of the nor based sr latch okay so this is not new to you all using nor gates how the sr latch is built you see here this uh, sr latch means we have no, we don't have any clock signals we have two inputs s and r and q bar and q okay where the second input is given as to the out, given as the output for q and the second input of this nor gate uh, is given as the output for q bar okay it is fetched uh, it is cross coupled and this is the simple diagram of the sr latch okay nor based sr latch for this they have drawn the gate level cmos implementation circuit here what they have done is they have used nor gate two input nor gate so you know that in nor gate in the pull up part uh, pmos transistors would be in series and nmos would be in parallel so here we had two nor gates right so that's why they have built two separate nor gates and the connections they have made first they have uh, combined the inputs then the connections based on the uh, circuit they have made that is the uh, this input that is the uh, second input is given as the output for q so you see here the second input is given as the output for q and here this input r is given as the output for q bar that is this input r is given as the output for q bar so like this they have made this simple two input cmos implementation sr latch circuit okay so hope the circuit uh, connections is clear so introduction a bistable element constructed using two cross coupled inverter have two stable operating states as long as power supply is available the circuit retains its current state making it making it suitable for the memory storage however simple two inverter setup does not allow external control to its change state so we have compared this uh, inverter setup and all in the previous video by staple connections we have seen but it is simple but here in this case we need the additional transistors to be applied so that's why we are using the sr latch in the cmos implementation to enable this uh, triggering inputs external control and allow the change of state additional switching elements that is input must be added okay that is some external connections that is the uh, source of inputs must be added the resulting circuit is a cmos sr latch okay which includes two inputs that is one is set input and one is reset input the circuit is often referred to as an sr flip flop as it can toggle between two stable states so how this latch when this latch becomes flip flops uh, when this when the latch would be converted to flip flops only when we have one particular clock signal to be applied whereas in case of latch circuits we don't have any clock signal okay so the sr latch is implemented using two cmos nor gates as you show see in the figure above each nor gates output is fed to the is fed into one input of the other nor gate that is cross coupling is done the second input of each nor gate is connected to the external control input that is s or r so this is the gate level schematic and corresponding block diagram representation is uh, given here these figures clearly show how the sr latch structure supports both internal feedback and external s and r inputs okay so this circuits provide two outputs basically q bar and q where q is the primary output and q bar is the complement of that primary output so by definition set state in set state the output q would be equal to 1 because it the output would be set state so the logic would be high and q bar would be 0 and in the reset state that is a uh, it would be reset so that's why it would be equal to 0 from 1 it would be turning to 0 and q bar would be equal to now operating conditions uh, for sr uh, sr latch circuit if s equal to 0 and r equal to 0 you see the truth table here if s and r both are 0 0 the latch holds its previous state okay that is the latch would be at the hold state whatever is the previous state that would be holding it won't be getting changed okay but for the second condition you see here if s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 that is this point 1 0 the latch is set okay when the latch is set means q the output q would be equal to 1 and q bar would be equal to 0 okay so that is here you see here at the set state q would be 1 and q bar would be 0 but
but if s is equal to 0 and r equal to 1 the latch is reset that is uh, uh, initially it was 1 if it is uh, resetting the q would be equal to 0 and its complement q bar would be equal to 1 so here we have here 0 and 1 and in operation it would be in the reset state but if both the inputs are 1 that is if s and r are 1 both outputs go to 0 which violates the complementarity conditions this is forbidden or invalid state so this is invalid why because you see here if both the inputs are 1 the corresponding outputs would be in the 0 0 state if you compare this you see here if both s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 and if you apply uh, any of the logical operations uh, using nor gate in both the sides you would be getting output as q as 0 also q bar as 0 but it is not possible because one should be complement of other okay if this is 0 this should be 1 but this condition is not satisfying that uh, that uh, complementarity so that's why that complementarity condition is not satisfied here so that's why the resultant is not allowed or invalid okay so this is only in case of sr but in case of jk we have an additional thing that i'm going to discuss in that during the uh, discussion of jk where this final condition is uh, uh, neglected okay so this is the operating conditions for sr flip flop next transistor level operation of cmos sr latch where uh, uh, how, how these uh, PMOS and NMOS transistors are playing a role here it's mentioned here the operation of CMOS SR latch circuit may be examined more closely by analyzing the behavior of four NMOS transistors that is M1, M2, M3, N4 okay here we are considering the NMOS transistors case 1 if S is equal to VOH and R is equal to VOL transistors M1 and M2 are connected in parallel would be turned on that is these are the two transistors M1, M2. If VOH, for first condition, if S is equal to VOH and R is equal to VOL, okay, then first two parallel transistors are turned on. This pulls the Q, Q bar to the logic low level, that is VOL, okay. It would be logically low, that would be equal to 0. The transistors M3 and M4 are off, so node Q rises to logic high, that is VOH. So Q would be logic high and its complement Q bar would be logic low okay then the latch is in the set state similarly case 2 s is equal to vol and r is equal to voh it is just uh, uh, vice versa here in this case in the first case m1 and m2 are on in this m1 and m2 are off m3 and m4 are on that is the transistors which are connected in series these two transistors these two parallel transistors are on the node Q is pulled to VOL and the node Q bar rises to VOH, okay. So that's why it is in the opposite reset state, okay. But in the case 3, S and R both are equal to VOL, both M1 and M4 transistors are trigger transistors of, it depends on the previous state that is if either M2 is on, Q bar equal to VOL, Q equal to VOH or M3 is on, it depends on the previous state, okay. So that's why it holds its previous state. And this is a complete analysis they have given in this table here. You just go note, note it up. Okay. So this is the operating modes for a, a CMOS NOR based SR latch of all the transistors. Just now the operating conditions we have explained, right? That only it is mentioned here. Okay. So just read it. So here the, we have the capacitance in output nodes for the CMOS NOR based SR latch. So the capacitance are mainly this diagram you see here. We have the lumped load capacitance at both the output nodes here we have the lumped load capacitance such as cq at the output node and this is the uh, cq bar at the output node so these are called as lumped node capacitance which play a vital role during the working of the circuit okay let us see that now the capacitance at output nodes the total parasitic capacitance at nodes q and q bar are approximated as cq and cq bar where it is given as CGB2 plus CGB5. So this is the equation here. So it's not uh, required because this is the gate to base connection equations. The circuit diagram of the SR latch is shown below together with the lumped load capacitance at the nodes Q and Q bar. So this, if the question is asked, this diagram you should be drawing that is two input NOR based SR latch where you should be adding the lumped load capacitance at the output end. Okay. So let us understand, understanding capacitance at output nodes it first its goal is to estimate the total capacitance at output node due to the MOSFET intrinsic capacitances. The source of capacitances are CGB and CDB and CSB. Okay, where CGB is the gate to bulk capacitance, 
that is uh, its uh, functioning is that if the node drives the gate state of the transistor well, the drain, drain to bulk capacitance that is if the node is connected to the drain of the transistor then this would be getting activated then source to bulk capacitance csb if the node is connected to the source of the transistor especially in stacked operation then the csb capacitor would be activated in stacked transistor configuration both the source and drain may contribute to the output node equally because the intermediate nodes can swing with the output signal okay so capacitance at q so this is the equation for that cq is equal to cgb2 plus cgb5 plus cdb3 plus cdb4 plus cdb7 plus csb7 plus cdb8 where cgb2 and 5 are gates of m2 and m5 which are driven by q then cdb3 4 and 7 are the drains of m3 m4 m7 which are connected to q and csp7 is the source of stacked m7 which is dynamically connected to the q cdb8 is the drain of m8 which is dynamically connected through m7 okay next capacitance q bar cq bar is equal to cgb3 plus cgb7 plus cdb1 2 plus cdb5 plus csb5 plus cdb6 where cgb3 and 7 are the gates of m3 and m7 transistor which is driven by q bar okay then cdb1 2 5 are drains of m1 m2 m5 transistors are which are connected by q bar all the necessary connections which are driven by the outputs q and q bar are represents their capacitances okay same goes with csb5 and cdb6 next the estimation that is a rise time so yeah this is not required So yeah, that's all for NOR based SR latch. So now we have one more important kind under SR latch only we that is NAND based SR latch. Okay. So this is uh, just one change is there in the NAND and NOR based SR latch. That is the uh, set and research state would be uh, disabled that it, it would be uh, interchanged in the different combinations. Okay. Because the in the NOR and NAND based there is only one change. That is uh, in the NOR based we had PMOS transistors in series. Here it would be in parallel. And NMOS would be in series, but in case of NOR, it was in parallel. Okay, so that's why this is the connection for NAND based SR latch. You see here, only that one change is there, rest all the connections are same. NAND based SR latch, where output Q is given to the input of the uh, first, uh, first, uh, second transistor. Okay, so this is the diagram uh, based on this diagram, the connections are made. Okay, it uses two NAND gates with a cross coupled feedback. Inputs S and R are active low, that is it is initially zero. Outputs are Q and Q bar. NAND SR latch behavior, set state, in set state S is equal to zero, R is equal to one. And Q is equal to one, Q bar equal to zero. In the reset state, S equal to one, R equal to zero. When the inputs are one zero, it would be in reset state, that is Q equal to zero, Q bar equal to one. Hold state, S equal to one, R equal to one, it, pre it holds the previous state and it is held. Invalid state, S equal to 0, R equal to 0, that is Q equal to Q and Q bar, both are equal to 1. Okay, so this is the truth table. In this, when both the inputs are 0, 0, the output is 1, 1. Since it is both the outputs are 1, 1, it doesn't uh, apply it for the complementary condition, that is, complementary condition is not satisfied. But So, in this case, it is not allowed. But the, see the combination. In case of uh, NOR based SR latch, we had when both the inputs are 1, 1. It was not a lot, but in case of NAND, NAND based SR latch, it is when both the inputs are 0, 0. Okay, and in case of NOR based SR latch, when both the inputs were 0, 0, it would be in the uh, not allowed state. But here, in case of uh, NOR, uh, NAND based SR latch, when both the inputs are 1, 1, it would be in hold state. When it is 0, 1, it is uh, in the set state that is uh, Q, Q equal to 1 and Q bar equal to 0. In 1, 0, it is 0 and 1, that is Q equal to 0 and Q bar equal to 1, and it is in the reset state. Okay. So this is the gate level schematic for the SR latch using uh, NAND gates. Comparison with NOR based, it is just opposite to that of NAND. Okay, So NAND latch is active low trigger, NOR latch is active high trigger. CMOS NAND latch dissipates negligible static power. NAND latch with deflation NMOS gates is possible, but CMOS offers better noise margins with full output swing. Okay. So this is the cross coupled depletion uh, uh, NAND gate. So this is not required. So that was it guys. I have compared 
uh, uh, SR latch using a CMOS2 input NOR based as well as NAND based SR latch and I also uh, told the functioning of it. Okay. So that's all for this video guys. So this was all about the SR latch circuits. In the next video we are going to discuss with the clocked SR latch circuits that is clocked flip flop circuits. Okay. That is SR flip flop. So let us see that in the next video. That's all for this video guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Keep supporting. Thank you.